Hello? No, I don't want to go to the party tonight. I don't care if there's a free kegger there. Look, you just don't get it, do you? Well, I get it. And I know you do too. If you only knew how much I get it, that I think about you every single day, in the morning when I wake up and at night when I go to sleep, you are always on my mind. I grab my cell to call you and then I remember what happened, what I did, School was just one big party. And besides, it was just high school, right? I'm not sure when my problems started. The drinking, drugs, the cutting class. It wasn't your problem. Now, it's my problem for life. The field trip that day was no big deal. And I thought taking the bus was so not cool. Yeah, right, I would meet you guys there anyway. We started partying at 10 in the morning, and I was drunk by 11. I just kept thinking, oh sure, I can drive. I'm fine. I wasn't fine. I was drunk. When I saw the bus ahead, I thought it would be fun to pass and wave to you guys. I swear, I, I swear I didn't see you getting off the bus. The sounds, the screams. When the cops arrived, they found the beer. They arrested me and they took you away. I had to face your parents, my parents. And then that day in church, I had to face myself and what I had done. We are gathered here today to mourn the death of Katie. She lived a short but full life, which tragically ended last Friday when she was hit by a drunk driver. I know her presence will be greatly missed. She had such a great life ahead of her. She always meant the world to me. She was my little girl. We were always in the same class, but we each had our own groups of friends. I could talk to her about everything. We always did everything together. But when we hit high school, I started drinking, and she didn't. We were still inseparable. <laughs> People thought we were sisters. <laughs> she always told me I should stop drinking, but I never listened. <laughs> our lives changed in an instant. Our families, our friends, our futures. I am so sorry. It was only a few beers, and I thought for sure I could drive. I had done it before. How wrong could I be? I have to get back to school now and face another day, knowing what I have done. Knowing that if I would have asked for help, reached out to someone, anyone, we might not be here. I get it now. I had a problem that cost me everything. How many times have I relived that day? If only I hadn't gotten behind the wheel. If only I hadn't been drinking. I pray this does not happen to anyone else. The price is more than you could ever imagine. It cost you everything. I miss you, Katie. 
This story may sound unusual, but the truth is that it happens every day. Actually, it happens about six times a day. In 2000, almost 2,400 people between the ages of 15 and 20 were killed in alcohol-related automobile accidents. You don't have to drink to be cool. Here are some tips from the National Commission Against Drunk Driving. To be treated as an adult, you must act like one. This means obeying the law and making responsible decisions. Even though you may think everyone drinks, it's just not the case. On college campuses, less than 40% of students are drinkers. Never ever get in the car with someone who's been drinking, even if the driver says he or she is okay to drive. Have a plan to follow when you need a ride home and have been drinking. Always have someone you can call who will get you home safely, no questions asked. If you'd like more information about what you can do to prevent drunk driving, check out the following sources. SAD.org, Students Against Destructive Decisions, has great advice and tips for you to discuss with your family as well as information on starting a SAD chapter in your school. NCADD.com, the National Commission Against Drunk Driving offers great tips for your school and family. MAD.org, Mothers Against Drunk Driving offers a huge list of programs for adults and students designed to combat underage drinking. There's lots more information available. Talk to your teachers and parents about what you can do to prevent drunk driving.